Hey there fellow crafters. I am back today with another tutorial. This one showing you how you can either make a solid image or uh, create your layers in Cricut Design Space using the contour tool. So um, since we're going to do two different things I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. And the first thing I'm going to show you is how you can take this image and how we can make it a solid image. Because let's say that you uploaded it and you've decided, I don't want to have all these little pieces. I just want to have a solid image to cut out. So you just go ahead and select your image. And you come down here to the bottom right where it says contour. And what's really cool is instead of going in and manually clicking each piece, if you're wanting it to be solid, you can come over here to the right and say hide all contours. So you click that and it's going to hide all these contour pieces and just keep the main piece. Then you can just X out of that. And then you can see here that we have just a solid design that is ready to get cut out. So this is helpful if let's say that you're doing something and you want a solid background. Um, so you can do that, but then you can still, you know, by having duplicated your image, you could still have other stuff on top of it. But if you want your background solid or something like that, or you just decided you don't want to do all the cuts, um, you know, that a design has that you're happy with the outline, well, then you can just um, hide all the contours and have that solid piece. But let's say, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Let's say instead that you have this black and white image or black and transparent image and you want to go ahead and fill in these pieces with another color. But you don't want all the extra vinyl that you would have if you just cut this twice because that is always an option. Well, you can duplicate it. So then you have the one that you would cut out in your one color. But then you can come over to this one. You can click on your contour. And this time, instead of hiding all the contours, you can just click on the outermost contour. So I clicked right there on the, out, the outside piece. And then you can see that I'm just left with my inside pieces. And then I can take those pieces and change the color on the mat just so I can see them. And then you can see that those pieces fit exactly perfectly to make your two color layered image that you can now go and cut out. And if you wanted to even do more colors, let's say you wanted to have you know, the little pieces one color, the bigger pieces another color, well then you can just duplicate this. So right here. And you can continue by using the contour tool. And let's see for purple that I want purple to be the smaller pieces. So I can get rid of these larger pieces here by just clicking on them. I'm kind of clicking too fast for my computer. And let's say I was wanting to do those. And then I have some purple pieces. And then, because I'm keeping those, I would go back to this piece and I would get rid of the ones that I chose to keep for the purple. So, you can continue making as many different layers as you want just by deciding which ones, which pieces you want to keep and getting rid of the ones that you don't want to keep for that particular layer. And then when you're done, you'll have yourself however many layers of that image that you want to have to cut out. So that's just a quick, like I said, quick way that you can use your contour tool to create your different layers um, or to make an image completely solid if that's what you're wanting to do. So I hope that you find this video helpful. If so, please just like it so that way I know and uh, I'll keep adding more videos as I can. Thanks guys and have a great day.